guys. While I'm behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the upcoming project, here are some things that you can do. Number one, if you are not already following me on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, be sure that you go ahead and you like my fan page on Facebook, that you follow my page on YouTube, and that you follow me on Instagram. And make sure your notifications are turned on on all of those sites. So that way you never miss an announcement that I have to make about products that could be coming out or when I'm getting ready to go live or if there's specials that I'll have going on where you'll want to go into my VIP group. Which brings me to that. My VIP group link is right down below in the description of the video on both YouTube and Facebook. If you're not already in there, I would love it if you would go ahead and join my VIP group. It's a great place to be, you guys. Next thing I want to talk to you about is Club Couture. If you haven't already heard, Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month. It's only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada. And guess what? It's going to ship free to you every single month. What will ship free to you? Well, an exclusive size B transfer that only Chalk Couture designers and Club Couture customers can receive once they become a Club Couture customer and three coordinating Chalk Paste singles. Don't worry about seeing the Club Couture transfer right now in this part of the video because I'll be showing you once we start the live. You will also gain access to my private Club Couture VIP group, where I go and create three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with that Club Couture transfer. You'll also get bonus flat rate shipping. I'll go over that as well once we go into the project. But just know you're going to get bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the US and $9.95 in Canada. It's pretty awesome. You will also get access to exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture each month for being one of my Club Couture customers. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be talking about the opportunity to go ahead and purchase your business in a box, launch your empire, and join my award-winning team. Stay tuned for that. So, hope you're ready for the project that's about to come. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for joining me today. Hey, hey, friends! Oh my god, I'm so excited my box finally got here. But we've got to do some talking first before we get to the fun stuff. So first and foremost, you guys, Club Couture, you guys heard me talk about it in the video right before this. Um, here is what our February Club Couture transfer look like. looks like. It is the Go Confidently transfer with those three awesome chalk paste singles. Um, I'm super excited, you guys. I am down to needing... My goal this month, I was challenged to hit 20 new Club Couture customers. We need only eight more customers this month. So I am going to encourage you to please, if you have ever considered Club Couture, please make this month be that month. And let me tell you why it should be this month. Number one, when you join my Club Couture, you will get access into my private Club Couture group where I make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with your monthly transfer. Additionally, you are going to get um, exclusive flat rate shipping. And that is on every single order, you guys. Flat rate shipping of only $4.95 in the US, $9.95 in Canada. And that means whether you order, order 20 transfers or 20 surfaces or 20 chalk paste colors, that shipping is always going to be $4.95. And it can be on multiple orders a month. Also, this month, whoopsie, this month, you will also get exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture. And I'm so excited to say all four kits are available. And I'm going to show you the quick dry tool for the one kit that you're going to definitely want to snag for 15% off this month. You can choose one of these four amazing kits. If you haven't taken advantage of this special yet as a Club Couture customer, please do. If you just want to join Club Couture today, you can also take advantage of this promotion as you're checking out. How amazing is that? And I even have some more things that you're going to want to do for this month. Here's another thing. When you join Club Couture this month, you will get the awesome spring summer 2021 semi-annual catalog. This just launched on February the 2nd, you guys, and it is amazing. And you get it for free. How great is that? And you want to know something else? Uh, if you become a Club Couture customer this month and your payment comes out on March the 5th, you are going to get a creamy, dreamy pace pack. What's this pace pack going to include? Well, I am glad that you asked. It's going to be two... Um, Creamy, dreamy chalk paste singles. We are relaunching our chalk paste and it is glorious. And you are even going to get 
this super cute. Hold on. I'm trying to pull it up here. It's being a little bit of a, it's not cooperating. Hold on one second. You're also going to get this exclusive size A transfer, which of course my computer is not wanting to cooperate with me. Oh, hold on. There it goes. Here it is. Oh, wait, where is it? <laughs> hold on, you guys. I promise it's coming. Hold on. Um, Let's see. Where did it go? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Where did it go? You guys, I just pulled it up. Why is this doing this? Hold on. <laughs> there it is. There is that awesome exclusive transfer that you were going to get. It says you are a dream come true. Could you imagine all of the super cute projects you could do with this wedding season, a baby, um, just to have with your everyday home decor with pictures of your family and friends. You could do it right on a shadow box. It is super amazing. So if you are considering joining Club Couture, make it be this month. Help me hit my goal. I would be so forever appreciative of you. The link to join Club Couture can be found in the description on both YouTube and Facebook on this video. Okay. So there is that. Now, um, let's talk about my next favorite thing. Peggy, I see your question. Give me one sec. I'm going to answer that. Um, you can, uh, or you know what, Peggy, let me answer that now. You have to wait three months. Um, but if you are choosing to sign up under a new enroller uh, or new upline, you have to wait six months. Um, let me know if that helps you. So here is what else I love to talk about. And that is the ability to make 2021 your year to purchase your business in a box, launch your empire and get that, that, uh, but business in a box. Okay. This is the new designer kit, AKA business in a box. I call it the business in a box because everything you need to jumpstart your business is going to be found in this box. It is a small investment of only $99 plus tax and shipping, um, in the U S and 127 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's going to come to you valued at 240 U S 330 Canadian and include five, three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel, eight and magnetic chalkboard the readme our gorgeous spring summer 2021 catalog they just launched six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers from that awesome catalog and you're gonna also get that club couture cust uh, transfer remember it is exclusive to club couture customers and designers now i realize i threw out a whole lot of info for you and you're probably saying jess thanks so much girl but i still have questions please don't worry i have your answers all you need to do is click the link in the description of this video on both YouTube and Facebook that says Opportunity Group. Once you click that Opportunity Group, I will get a notification and I'll approve you in my group and tag you in my most recent Opportunity video that will answer all the questions you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I want you guys to be happy with your decision. So here's a little something up on my screen for all my brand new friends who are just joining and just learning about Chalk Couture while I get my camera angles ready. So good morning, Mary Ager. How are you? Hi, Katie Babcock. Thank you for sprinkling, Mary Ager. Hey, Paula Lore. How are you? Hi, Karen Johnson. Uh, I'm glad that helps, Peggy. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for sprinkling, Lisa Batten. Good morning. You guys, my box that I've been waiting for since Tuesday has finally arrived. I, If it wasn't COVID, I probably would have leapt in my FedEx man's arms and kissed him. I'm just saying. I was so excited to see this. So I have been waiting to... Oh, I haven't even opened the box yet. All I did was slice it open so it's easier to go. You guys, we're going to make an awesome project today, but I'm going to show you all of the, the new awesome surfaces that we released. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And our quick dry tool, which if you're a Club Couture customer, that is the only way you can get a quick dry tool right now until another shipment comes in because they are available for the promotion for our Club Couture customers this month. So if you want to get it, if you want to get your hands on it, you need to come a Club Couture customer. So that way you can. Good morning, Amanda Joe. Hi, Lisa LeBlanc. I am so excited. I'm so good. Good morning, Vicki Keller. I know Kim Weiner. That's what we're going to be playing with today. So number one, oh, I already unplugged my other one and put it away. I am so excited. This is our quick dry tool. And you guys, it is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Why did that just come out? And where did that come from? Hold on. Oh no, my box was a little crumpled up. I hope it didn't break anything. I will cry. Oh, where did that come from? Hold on, you guys. A little screw just came out. 
I wonder if they broke my box. Unless maybe it was just an extra one. Maybe it was just an extra little screw. I don't think it's broken. I think it's okay. Oh my gosh, I'll cry. I will just cry. I'll save it just in case. But let's see. Okay, hold on. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, I've got my little tower right here. Let's see. Ready? Oh my God, listen to how quiet that is. <gasps> no more having to yell over my, um, my dryer. That's the first setting. Oh my gosh. And this is the next setting, you guys. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited. And it even has a little stand to stand it up. Oh my goodness gracious. I am so excited to be using this. I can't wait. Okay, so you guys saw my super cute project, if you didn't, that I made last night with our awesome decorative cutting boards. Here's what I made last night, but here's what they look like. They're so cute, you guys. I will be doing so many projects with it. Um, I know, Amanda Jo, it was on. Isn't that crazy? Good morning, Dion. Hi, Valerie's Chocoholics. The quick dry tool. I know, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's get this back out of the way so we can keep on looking at all our tools. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. Here we go. All right, so here are the simple shapes. I'm obsessed with these. These are what you will use with our welcome. Uh, what's it called? I think our new... Uh, uh, I think it's called... Oh, my gosh. See, I'm so excited. I can't even think. One sec. I will tell you what it's called. Um, we have the new welcome... Uh, is it, what is it called? My goodness. I can't even, I can't even think. Farmhouse welcome and the farmhouse welcome signpost add on. Um, so we've got the, yes. What is it called? What, farmhouse welcome signpost. Goodness gracious. Um, so these simple shapes will fit. And let me, um, let's look at this real quick. Cause I can pull it up on my display so you guys can see. You see this farmhouse welcome signpost add on. This is what you can use the simple shapes with, you guys. So it's got all of these. Oops, that's not the one. Nope, sorry. One second. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so darn excited. I can't even type. Where is it? It's this one. Okay, these are all any day computer. Here we go. Here we go. So you see we have the maple leaf. We've got the Christmas ball, the mittens, the crab, the sun, the dog print, the little wreath, the uh, little uh, watering can, and the deer. Okay. So that's what these uh, simple shapes will be able to work with. You can actually even punch right through them with a crop -a -dial. Um, And I, hopefully I'll be making a project with these. Maybe Sunday I'll work with these. So that way you can see them. Now, four simple shapes come in a pack. And it's $12.99, I believe. So you'll get two circles and two squares for your creative pleasure. Okay? So how awesome are these? If you don't own them... You need to get them. Hi, Missy Steven. Good morning. Thank you, Kim Weiner. My gosh, I couldn't even think. Hey, Cindy. How are you, girly? Um, it is so pretty, Kim Weiner. I know. Oh, don't you love it, Lisa? It's so awesome. You can't wait to get yours, Missy. That's awesome. Good morning, Kat. I know, Lisa. I have to take a breath. I get it. I know, Kat. Thank God it came. Okay, so next thing. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. You guys already saw the bunny cutouts. We made a super cute project with these the other night. As you can see, my cute little bunnies that are sitting right in front of me because I'm just obsessed with them. We use the bunny duo along with our bunny cutouts to go ahead and create a project with these. So this is super fun. And now let's get to what we are going to do today. And that is going to be the vintage truck cutout and the vintage truck cutout accessories. Oh my goodness. First of all, this truck is legit. It is good and heavy and solid and sturdy. Okay. Look at that. It's about a good inch thick. Um, so it, you know, it's going to, it's going to stand no problem. Look at that. And then the vintage cutout accessories we have that you can also purchase separately. You're going to get four pieces to this, um, accessory kit. Okay. And let me show you what you're going to get in them as soon as I get this open. Okay. No, oh, open. Hold on you guys. Goodness. Okay. Let me slide them out. Come on. Come on. Come on. These are legit. Wow. Hold on. Hold on, mama. Okay. So 
These are the bases, so that way you can flip them over and have different sayings because, look, you could do a saying on this side, you could do a saying on this side. I mean, technically, you could do it on all four sides. And guys, I got news for you. I have big plans of using these pieces on just a regular, totally different project because they're nice. They are really good. So we've got those two pieces, and then we've got the accessory pieces, okay? So you can see by the way these look, they will line up and are meant to work alongside the new vintage truck add-on all seasons. So you can see this one accessory set. This one will fit for our pumpkins. And then if you reverse it, it's also going to work on the watermelon. So you could do these two on this. And then this accessory set, um, you could tell, works for the hearts on this side. And if you flip, flip it over, it's going to be the tree on this side. So we're going to hold off on this because I'm not going to do a heart or a tree yet on this one. Today, I'm going to probably create watermelons because that's my next upcoming season, right, guys? So vintage truck add-on all seasons and our vintage truck. Now, the cool part, whoopsie, the good thing about this is, number one, if you have our existing truck, you can still use that transfer to fit the cutout. But now, because the truck is able to be both sides, we made the truck going both ways. So if you want to be able to have the truck to go this way, you will need to get the new vintage truck duo, okay? Hello, Heidi. I want to order more bunnies. Have they sold out? They haven't yet, Aileen. Jump in and grab them while you can. Um, I might need to get the accessories and transfer now You after you saying all that. Oh, girl, go grab them. I love them too, Heidi. I'm so excited. All right, so you guys, let's go ahead and let's play. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm going to use this new transfer, even vintage truck transfer. I actually have two of them because of our original vintage truck transfer from way back in the day. And then when they did the individual truck, of course, I had to get that. I have a problem. It's fine. No judgment. So now I'm going to technically have four of them because of this. So I can make vintage trucks all day long. They really wrap it good in the plastic. Just saying. So there is that. We got that out. Now I'm going to be used. I'm probably, I mean, it feels pretty good. I don't think I'm going to wax it, you guys. I think I'm, I think I'm going to keep it. Then I think I'm going to do my truck going this way. I think that's what I want. So let's get it cut up. Are you guys like so excited? Hi, Lisa. You got them all and you love the truck. I'm so glad. I love it. Hi, Megan Ferris. I'm glad you can't wait for yours. Hi, Deb Arsenault. How are you? Thanks for joining me this morning. You guys, there was going to be no way I was going to be able to wait until this evening. So this is why I told you guys, in case it was going to come yesterday, to just make sure you had your notifications on because there was no way I was going to be able to wait. No flipping way. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's use my transfer trimmers to get my silk screen, my, uh, my transfers all cut right down along the cut lines. You guys know my reasoning for doing my cutting this way now, and that's because of the new books that I have, my portfolio books to house my transfers in. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't even move my fingers. I'm like shaking, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like I had three Christmas mornings in February. Like seriously, I truly feel like I did. Okay, now we are finally there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get this to the side for right now, okay? And I said I want my truck to go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to also use some placement tape. So that way I make sure I have enough room because we want to actually do, even though it says B1 and B2, we're going to lay this portion of the truck down first and then do this over it. Um... So I want to make sure I have some placement tape to have for my, um, what is it called? My registration marks. So let's see. I believe we should be good to put this about right here. Oh, I bet you it probably lines up with, the, with that. Does it? No, that is way too low. 
Let's see. Maybe I should put the, this part down first and then I'll know how to line it up. Let's see. And of course I didn't fuzz it up because I wasn't thinking just now, you guys. Actually, you know what? That looks like it is going to be perfect. That's going to be perfect. I could probably even, I really probably could lift it up a little bit more um, because then the, the base of the truck will fit correctly. But, um, the, not the base, the, um, what's that called? The uh, accessories that'll go onto the back. I just want to see if I can't line it up and see how it looks. Oh, yeah, look at that. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. So I can actually lower it just a little bit more right to the edge. Stop it, reminders. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually fuzz this guy up. Okay. And I'm going to place my placement tape down. Um, way over here. One, two, get one there. Let's see. Um, definitely a no judgment zone. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Deb, I know they're so awesome. Super pumped. You're in. Oh, I'm so glad, Missy. I'm so glad it came too, Kate. Oh, my God. What are the portfolio books? Carol, I will show you really quickly. Here we go. I have my Club Couture book right here. So they are just different size portfolios that actually store my transfers now. So they all fit in nicely. I have them all the way up to size 18 by 24. So that way, even my size D and E's will fit, which is super exciting. Okay. Super exciting. I love that I can just go and I even labeled all of them in my books. So I know where, um, so I know where they all are in relation to my, um, my books, right? Okay, so I think I'm happy with how this is lined up. It's literally right at the edge on both sides. Okay, now I want to do my truck in, I mean, hey, the vintage truck is one of the things that started to help to build my business. So let's do it in couture teal, shall we? But I will tell you, actually, do I really, do I want to do it in couture teal? I think I do. Um, I did, am using the beach day, uh, I'm sorry, the vacay palette pack with this. So you could use the couture teal, you could use bright white, you could use storm. Obviously, I probably wouldn't use bright white. Um, and I'm probably going to make the back of my truck, if not storm, I may just come hop on over. Let's see. Do we have, do we have shimmer copper available? Is that chalk paste in stock? Whoops. That's not chalk paste. Let's see. Um, do, do, do. Shimmer copper is available, you guys. So you could totally do the back of the bed in shimmer copper if you want to add that. The cart link of everything I'm using is going to be down below. I did not add the shimmer copper because I wasn't thinking. So we'll use some shimmer copper to go ahead and do the bed of the truck since that is, oops, ah, is in stock. Guess what? I'm going to make a huge mess because it's like avalanche area here. All right. So we're going to use some couture teal, shimmer shadow, shimmer copper for this truck. So let's get at it. Okay. So I'm going to use, do, do, do. Let's see what I'm going to do. I want to do, uh, 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 hold on. One second here. Yeah, I'm going to do the couture teal. Let's do this. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to grab a stir. Make sure our chalk paste is stirred up to a nice yogurt-like consistency. Okay. What happened to my comments? Where did they go? Hold on. They keep disappearing. There it goes. Yes, couture teal is my fave too, Carol Ann. Oh, that'll be nice too, Vicky. That'll be real nice. Yes, Kat, for sure. Where did you get? Oh, um, Carol Ann, I will, let me respond to you really quickly before I start talking. I have all the links right here. Hold on. Because so many people have asked me for it. So I just went through and grabbed the short links. 
There you go, Carol. I'm responding to you on Facebook. There you go. You should all see it. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. No, I was totally thrilled, Amy. Totally. All right, let's do this, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm just going to grab some couture teal and I'm going to make, oh, that was not a smart move. I did couture teal over, <laughs> over the teal placement tape. Dum dum. Oh my gosh. You guys see that's where, that's where I need to pay attention more. Why did I do that? Oh, uh, you know what? I'll grab some, some shimmer shadow real quick and pop it right over it. Hopefully it'll come out just fine. Okay, hold on. Let's quick get that shimmer shadow opened and do it over this registration mark and try to go back over that one. Oh, good. And I didn't get any couture teal on it. Now let's come back in and get all that excess up. We don't want to leave any behind, right? Okay. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, guys. Oh. And now we get to use finally the quick dry tool. Okay, hold on. I got to get this. I don't want to get my quick dry tool dirty already. Hold on. I got to get the chalk paste off my fingers. I know I'm a mess, but I've been waiting for this quick dry tool like you would not believe. Okay, ready? Let's start it off on the low setting. Look, guys, I don't even have to yell. I don't even have to yell. And look, let's turn it to the high setting just to see. Guys, this is the high setting, and hopefully you can still hear me with no problems. Okay. Oh, I am so happy to have a quick dry tool. So, so, so thrilled. And like I said, you guys, if you want one of our quick dry tools, the only way you can get it right now is by getting the um, Chalk It Up kits. It's in a Chalk It Up kit, okay? We have four of them available. Club Couture customers get to save 15% on this till the end of uh, February or while supplies last. So if you are thinking of joining Club Couture, don't think any longer. Jump on it and take advantage of your promo this month. Okay, guess what? We are dry. Oh, it works so good, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, stop, Jess. Calm down. Calm down, Jess. Calm down. I'm so pumped. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's close up Couture Teal because we're done with this. Bye-bye, Couture Teal. We'll see you later, okay? Okay. Oh, let's get this over here and we'll just stick it on there. Get that over here. Okay, I need to get these off of my fuzzing towel because I have to fuzz. Okay, we can put that away because we're done with that. We can put them away because we're done with that. Okay, and I'm actually, this is good because I'm giving time to get my surface back to room temp. Okay, so I'm just going to fuzz this one up. It is, uh, it's warm actually, Debbie. It doesn't go higher than 130 degrees. I didn't even hear how hear it on low and it's still so quiet for high right now. You're very clear. No more yelling over a dryer. Yay, Dion. Isn't it so quiet, Kate? I love it. Oh, Heidi. I love you, girl. Hey, how hot is the chuck surface after using the quick dry? Not even hot at all. It's cool. It's cool. I have stored my transfer. Oh, nice, Vicky. That's awesome. And you're so welcome, Carol Ann. I'm so glad you're doing this. When mine comes, I'll know how to do it. Yes, Lisa, you will know how to. You don't even have to second guess it. That's the one thing I used last night. Oh, awesome. It really is quiet, Kate. It truly is. Truly. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's line our registration marks up. Oh, I almost had it there. I'm almost on it. There it goes. One two we are lined oh no i did it way too high you guys <laughs> ah goof well we'll have a little portion of the truck in this darn it i did not pay attention to that you guys 
Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm still excited. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. And guess what? I have two sides of the truck if I really want to redo it. Darn it. Apparently, when I was planning it out, I went the wrong way. No biggie. No biggie. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's still going to look awesome. I don't care. So you guys are definitely learning from my mistake. Whoops. And that needs to come off because I'm going to wind up chalking over the placement tape. Get off placement tape. Oh my goodness. My big fat nails are in the way. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> ah! And then I just chalked over the register. <laughs> you guys see, now I should not be chalking while excited because you see what happens? I just make mistakes. And you know what? It's fine. It's A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. I'm trying to pay attention to where I am so that way I don't go over the bed. And I already just about did it. Oh my goodness. Chalking while excited. Mm. Need to learn to slow down. Okay, so let's keep going right to the tippy top here. And this is where I should be using some placement tape and I'm not. And that is probably not a smart move on my behalf since, oops, yes, see, I'm already going crazy. You know what? We're not going to use the shimmer copper. We're going to just probably... We're going to just stick with Shimmer Shadow, you guys. Why not, right? Why not? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right. Let's peel it off and see how badly I did this. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I messed that up so bad. <laughs> Guess what? We're going to see what happens when you spray it clear. Let's play this game. <laughs> I forgot. I must, I, you really should use some wax, you guys. Let's just see what happens. Let me get my board eraser and we're going to go and try again. Hold on. Goodness. Choking while under enthusiastic circumstances probably should be avoided. Okay, hold tight. Hold tight. It does make it look super vintage, but I'm not going to lie. That was so not the look I was going for. But you guys, look at this. I'm going to be able to take pretty much all of it off and redo it anyway. So how fun is that? It's okay if I have a little bit of the, the black showing still. I'm okay with that. Look at that. Hot damn. Okay. So we're just going to redo it. No biggie. And now I'll do it the right way. Now I'll get it done the correct way. Hold on. Let me get the excess that dripped on the opposite side of my truck. Look at this. No big deal, you guys. No big deal. I made a mistake. Oh, can't even tell. <gasps> oh, but I'm dropping everything else and you can tell that. Okay, let's go back to the jump. And I'm going to go back to where I originally placed it. And you know what? I'm not even going to mess around with the registration marks this time. Because guys, I know how to work a vintage truck. That's what I get for trying to be fancy pants. Let me see. Be about there. Perfect. We're going here again. And then I'm going to show you what I did wrong. I should have waxed. I should have waxed, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, hopefully there's not a lot of chalk paste stuck left because I didn't do a very good job of pulling it all off. Okay, but that's okay. If it doesn't go through all the spots, then it's really going to look like a vintage truck. 
It really will. And yes, Vicki Keller, I love that idea. You totally could just um, add some copper to it and make it look really rusty. You absolutely could. I do have a bit of a bump right there, though. You guys, so we might have a little bubble. But that's okay. It's okay. Okay, there we go. Looking good, right? I'm not stressing, you guys. It's not going to stress me out. It's not going to happen. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I really do need to clean my hands, though, because I swear I'm not messing up my, my quick dry tool. Not going to happen, so hold on. You like it, Lisa? It's going to look so good. Just wait. Just wait. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to fix this. And it's not going to be horrible at all by any means. Okay, got that. Now, let's dry this. Let me move this out of the way. I may have to clean this transfer, though. You guys, not going to lie, because I don't know if I'll be able to see all the way down. Now, what we will do for the next part, please use your wax. Get your paste wax out. And I'm going to touch this surface to see how hot it truly is once I'm done um, getting it dried. Okay. Guys, it's not that hot at all. Not at all. It's like totally room temp. But I did see where this is not dry yet and I put my finger in it. So hold on. Oh, yeah. It's not there. It's there's not even, I think, going to be a need to let it to come back to room temp because it already is there. That is awesome. Oh, Andy, for sure. You can say that again, girl. Where is my paper towels? Oh, in front of my face. Um, let's see. Of course, your vintage truck is in mint condition, been in garage for years, right? <laughs> Vicky, you're so funny. All right, so I am going to wax this, you guys. I'm gently going to buff some in on my paper towel, just like so. And I'm doing this so that way when I lay the next piece down, it does not pull up my color like it did the first time, okay? So let's get this wax on. Oh, yeah, you can tell it's wax now. Okay. Okay. Got that. Now, let me see if I can line this up with how dark, how, how much paste I left on the first one. I should be able to see it this time. Oh, yeah, I can see it perfectly. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Oh, guys, and it lined up beautifully. Why do I doubt myself? I should have never used the placement tape because I didn't need it. I know my way around a vintage truck, you guys. I've only been making it for almost four years. All right, so let's redo this. Now, I'm going to be a little worried about some issues up here if my chalk paste is going to make it through the silk screen because I did a, I did leave an, a lot of excess shimmer shadow on this. I should have done a better job clearing it off, and I didn't. And that's, you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine that I didn't. If I have to, like, wet my finger a little, so be it. I'll wet my finger a little. Oh, it fits on perfectly. Don't doubt your vintage truck skills, you guys. If you've already used a vintage truck, you know how to line it up. Don't mess around with the registration marks, if I'm being honest. I messed around with mine, and look where it got me. Okay. Just about done. We are going to take our time pulling it back and see if the color went through all the way. If not, let me get a little bit of water ready to dip my finger in. Now I can't even see where I sprayed it. So I'm going to just take my time and peel it back. OMG. Oh my goodness. Hold on. 
Just put, all I had to do was actually just push it through just a little bit there. <gasps> you guys. Whoops, there is where I'm going to have the issue. So where's the water? What did I do with the water? Oh, put my finger right in it. Oh my goodness. You guys, look at my truck. It's awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. Bam! Look at my truck. Yes! Oh my goodness. Hot. Hot damn. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys, if you are not getting yourself some vintage trucks and have them like, who said it? Andy? In every color? Was it, was it Andy that said it? Yes. In every color? Go for it. Go grab yourself some trucks. The cart link is in the description of this video. Now, hold on. We're going to use that vintage truck accessories. After I make sure that I'm all dry, look how good it turned out. I love it. Oh, the knot mess was supposed to happen that way. Yes. Thanks, Carolyn. I know, right? I'm beyond excited because I have been waiting. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get this all dried. Now, keep in mind, the shimmers are going to take a little extra longer to dry because they're a little heavier, okay? Okay. Thanks, Dion. Oh, you're so cute. Thanks. I'm debating on a yellow truck or a mellow one. Ooh, that'll be cute, Kat. Hot Adam. No, I said hot damn. <laughs> hot Adam. You are funny, funny, Val. Oh, I did. I sure did say it. You best believe I did. Oh, I'm so excited. Still a little sticky there. We're going to keep on going. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks. I like stamping. I love it too. It looks so good. Just wait till we do the back now. Oh my God. It's going to be awesome. Okay, we are dry and at room temp, which is insane. I can't believe how awesome our quick dry tool is. Guys, more of a reason to join Club Couture so you can get your hands on it now. Okay, so we've got, oops, I rubbed our chalk, chalk I mean our truck into the wet spot. Awesome. Good job, dum-dum. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go to our accessories now. Okay. Love, love, love it. I just ordered a rustic picture with a vintage teal truck. I ordered a bucket and teal for towels for the bathroom. I can't wait to get my order. Awesome, Lisa. <laughs> I totally did, Carolyn. You're right. Thanks, Kim. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Obsessed is an understatement. I'm serious. Understatement. Okay, so let's actually get that out of the way so that way we can get my pieces cut up here. Where's my scissors? Are there. All right, so we're going to say... Um, farm fresh produce. Okay. We're going to do farm fresh. Oh, hold on. Did you know these were magnetic? <gasps> Our scissors, scissors are magnetic. How cool is that? I just found that out. All right. So we're going to do farm fresh produce. Okay. And we're going to do the watermelons because watermelons remind me of summer and summer. Gosh, hurry up and get here because I am ready for it over the winter already. Okay. I can't even, uh, guys, I, I'm a mess. I can't even lift the corners up of these. Probably shouldn't have cut that in first, but that's a okay. There we go. Okay. Last one to cut up here, and then we'll go to our watermelons. I just like to make sure that I am ready to rock and roll for when I'm ready to use these transfers. I don't want to have to be like, oh, let me recut it again. Nope. Be ready. There we go. Okay, my 
words are all cut out. Um, let's get down to the watermelons. They'll end up being last because I'll go in order this time so it won't be as difficult for me. One. Tell me what you guys think. What color truck would you guys be doing? Who's ready to go buy a hundred more vintage trucks besides just me? I am so pumped with these. It seriously was so easy. Just go with your gut. Honestly, if you've already worked with the vintage truck, you know how to work it. Don't mess around with the um, registration marks. You don't need to. Just about done. Hold on. Gotta lift it up. And I'll quick do my pumpkins and then that way I am all cut. There we go. So now I can pull any that I need off. Oh, I'm like doing weird things with my hands because I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, that is not a pump. That is not a watermelon. This is a watermelon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to actually use, hmm, what color do I want to use for the watermelons? Well, let's make sure we have the right little dude first, which is this one. And you can see, guys, it lines up beautifully. Look at that. It's perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Shimmer Melon. I know it's not in stock currently, and I usually hate to do that. But you guys, it's too perfect to not use. It, it Truly, I got to use it. It's just screaming my name. Okay. So let's go ahead and use that Shimmer Melon. Whoops. Hold on. There we go. Now we're good. Now what's walking? And you know what? People are probably going to be like, why are you using melon on a winter melon? And I'm going to tell you, I don't know. I probably should have do, done Shimmer Harvest uh, because that's the inside of the melon. I am a goof. Oh, my gosh. Guys, don't not even pay me any mind today. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Please hold. Let's just wipe this right on off. Watermelons are green, Jess. Not. <laughs> that would be the inside I would do the Shimmer Melon. Goodness gracious, you guys, we're going to do the Shimmer Harvest, which I believe is still in stock. Good Lord. Can mm. I get my act together? I seriously, I can't. I just can't get my act together because I'm so excited that I can't pay attention. Let's go to products. Let's make sure we still have Shimmer Olive in stock. Shimmer Olive still. In oh, no. Are we all done with Shimmer Olive? So then we're not going to use that. We're going to use another color green. I thought we still had Shimmer Olive. Apparently it's sold out, you guys. That's awesome. That's so good. All right, so let's look and see. Um, you know what we're going to use? We are going to use Meadow from the Bloom Chalk Paste Palette. How's that sound? From the Chalk Paste Palette Pack Bloom. Bloom. Okay, so we'll use Meadow here. You guys, I'm a hot mess today. I, this is what happens when I when when I get excited. I can't pay attention. Come on, woman. I know, Carolyn. I know. It is the Mondiest Friday ever. Seriously. The Mondiest Friday ever. There we go. Get your act together, Jess. Seriously. What? Thank you, baby. Alex and Ani? What the heck is that? Okay. That's weird. I didn't order anything from Alex and Ani. Okay. There we go. And there is no shimmer melon on there, so that is even better. 
Okay, it is sticking to me really good. Okay. Ha Heidi agreed, girl. Maui Air, please, I need it. I am in desperate need, Maui Air. I just have to pray to God my COVID test comes back on time so that way I can upload it. Oh, one of my chalk sisters who got her COVID test done yesterday, Walgreens lost her test and she's due to fly out tomorrow and she has not gotten her negative test, which is insane. Okay, there's our cute little watermelons. Now they're perfect. So let's get this dried. Hold on. Get all this color off. We don't need to be messing up the quick dry tool this quickly. All right. And then we got to do the second layer to this. So you guys are going to have to have help me with color. Should I be doing over that? I meant placement tape. Yes. Oh, very cool, Vicki. No, I never saw her do that. Yes, the meadow is perfection. But now we have a layer on top of it. Should I do the shimmer shadow? I'm trying to think of the color of the veins on a watermelon. They're not really shimmer shadow. They're like another color. I just am not sure what color that would be. What color? You guys tell me what color you think. I'm, in the meantime, going to get started on my saying that I want. Shimmer Shadow. Take a little of the green with black in it to just darken the green. Don't forget to wax. Oh, I won't forget to wax this time, Terry. A lighter green, a darker green. Uh, shimmer Harvest. Yeah, Melissa, Shimmer Harvest is no longer available, so I don't want to use that. Um, a very light peachy color. Well, I could do the Shimmer Melon, but a lighter green. Why don't we go with the Sage then from, what was Sage? Oh, a darker green. Mm, we don't have really a darker green, but you know what I can do? Sage with some Shimmer Shadow, like um, Vicky said. So why don't we do that? I'll do, I'll mix a little bit of Sage with some Shimmer Shadow. Let's get my very dirty uh, color tray here. It's just gold chalk piece. It's not a big deal. Oh my goodness, my poor Sage. This color needs help. Let's get it mixed up a little bit. A little better, like an actual cons good consistency. And then we'll add in some Shimmer Shadow. Sage would be good on its own. Do we think that then? Should I just use the sage on its own? Oh, wait, hold on. Wax, wax, wax. What are you guys thinking? Should I use sage on its own or should I add in a little bit of shimmer shadow? You guys tell me. Lightly buffing in. Very lightly. I don't want to remove the color. So what do you guys think? You tell me. I agree, just Sage. Okay, that's what we'll do then. Oops, we got to fuzz it up. Hold on. <clears throat> got to fuzz it up. Mix Sage and Shadow. Okay. You guys, let me know. No lines on watermelon are darker than their background. Okay. So I'll add mix sage and shadow. Okay, so let's add some shadow. Good thing I asked before we did. Um, come here. Oh, come here, stir stick. Here we go. Not that much, I don't think, though. Okay. 
that definitely turned into like a gray. What do we think about that? We are we okay with this? It looks like a darker sage. It doesn't look like gray, actually. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. It's Guys, I don't care. It's going to look awesome. Regardless, it is going to look amazing. Okay, that looks pretty lined up to me. Mix in the rest of the shimmer shadow that I have along the edges. Let's see what happens. We'll see. We'll see what happens, right? Still going to look great. Okay, here's what I will tell you. I'm already learning though. Because the transfers are so big, you're going to want to pull the piece up and chalk in the air. As silly as that may sound. Okay. Oh, it looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy with how this turned out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. Oh, all right, hold on. We got to get all this stuff closed up so my chalk paste don't dry out because you know me. I forget what I'm doing and I walk away from things. So get out of here. Let's close up the wax and then let's sit these two together. It looks awesome. Let's dry it before I mess it up. Look. It's so good. And it's got a little bit of shimmer to it because of the shimmer shadow. Oh, okay. You guys. <laughs> okay. That looks so good. Now let's get our bottom piece done. So we're going to do farm fresh produce and I'm going to just do this in regular old shimmer shadow. We're not doing anything fancy. I probably didn't need to close the jar. I forgot. So let's get that part done. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's amazing. It is just amazing. Looks pretty solid to me. Not messing around. <laughs> I am ready to see the finished results. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> if I can peel it off, that would be awesome. Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks great. They are not magnetic, not magnetic, Heidi. More, it's it's not hot like a heat gun or a hair dryer. No, it doesn't get that hot, bro. It's actually really cool. It doesn't blow out cool, I should say. It doesn't get very hot. It um, it's definitely very quiet. You, I don't even think you guys are hearing this on right now. Um, this is the low setting. This is the high setting, and it's like I could keep my hand here, and it's like for a while, and it's not gonna burn me. Not saying you guys should do it. I'm just showing you. It feels more like hot air or warm air, not super hot.
takes just a smidge longer to dry the shimmers. Not very much longer. There we go. Add, would the watermelon transfer fit on the base as well? Um, if I would have moved this down, it probably would. Yeah, for sure, Amanda. It would have definitely, it definitely would have. Okay, so let's come on back up to me and I'll show you guys if I could quit shaking. I can tell I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> there we go. Look how cute it looks. I love my vintage truck. I love it. It's awesome, you guys. You have not snagged your vintage truck and duo. Your vintage truck accessories, your vintage truck cutout, and your vintage truck cutout accessories. Oh, the link is in the description of this video on both YouTube and Facebook. Run, don't walk to my store and grab some. You will love this. Can't wait for mine to come in so you can get talking. Yes, Kathy Wheeler. I'm so much like you. I get so excited also, right, Lisa? Oh my God, it's so crazy. Hi in Texas, how are you? Um, isn't it so cute? It's so, so cute. Yes, Ro, as soon as it comes back in, snag one, girl, for sure. Definitely snag one. They are awesome. Um, you guys, I, I'm, I'm in love. I am in love. I hope you are too. Uh, tomorrow I'll be on for early morning chalk. <gasps> Ooh. I'm going to be on really early for early morning chalk and coffee because guess what? I have COVID test. I forgot about that. So tomorrow morning, either crazy early or it'll be in the evening when I do my chalking, but I'm going to aim for super early. So have your notifications on, have your coffee with me, and we will chalk then. All right, guys, I hope you have a super great Friday. Hope um, if you, you know, like I said, you need anything, you know where to go to my online store. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!